Windows Magnifier can now read things on the screen for you. Keep watching and let's talk about how it works. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. And if you use Windows Magnifier and you don't use a screen reader, but you do want to have the computer read to you sometimes in case there's a long article or a long email or something like that, you're going to really like the new update Microsoft pushed out for Windows Magnifier. First, you're going to want to make sure that your computer is up to date. And as of the publishing of this video, not all computers have access to the new update yet, but they are slowly rolling it out. So make sure you keep an eye on that in your Windows Updates Manager, and hopefully you'll be able to use this feature soon. So I'm going to switch over to the computer now so you can see what's on the screen. So here I am on my desktop and first you have to have magnifier open so you can do that by pressing the windows key and the plus. So now it zooms in and you want to go down to the magnifier interface. So the magnifier interface has gotten a new look. It has the um, decreased magnification, it has the zoom level, it has the um, zoom in, and it has some new buttons here. One is previous, one is play, one is next, and one is this new button is read from here. And there is a settings button as well. So for example, I'm here on our Live Accessible website and let us say I wanted to have it read something. So I'm going to click on the read from here. So I'm going to left click it. And instead of pressing this button, you can also press Control, Alt, and left click. And I'm going to click right here. So it should start reading from here. A resource for individuals and families with low vision who want to live a more accessible life. Created by a family who are all visually impaired and blind. So as you can see, while it is speaking, it highlights the text that it's currently reading with a, like a little blue box outline. And then you can press any key to make it stop reading. You can press Control Alt Enter to make it pause or start. Blind themselves. This website and is. And then to go back a. Wait, wait. To go back a sentence, you can press Control alt h We are a resource for individuals and families and then, with low vision. And to go to the next sentence, you can press Control alt k This website is an ongoing list of resources for those with some. Okay, so now if you go back to the magnifier interface, you can see here there's also the play, the previous, and the next. It's a lot easier to remember the keyboard shortcuts instead of struggling with the mouse and finding the buttons. So I prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts, but if you want to, you can also access it on the magnifier interface. The last icon here is the settings icon. And if you click there, you can adjust the, mag um, the speed of the voice. You can change the voice. Microsoft doesn't have too many voices and <laughs> David, the default one, I think is the better of the three. Um, and the last link on here is go to settings. So if you click on there, it'll take you to the rest of the magnifier settings. Let me just minimize the magnifier interface there. And so right here, you can see all the magnifier settings. I've gone over this in another video. And if you need to know how to use magnifier or go through the settings, I will leave some links down in the description and in the YouTube card if you want to go through that. Um, but here on the bottom, let's see here, it has a header called reading. So right here, you can control the modifier keys. So instead of pressing control alt, and then you can press enter to pause and play, and then the H and the K to go from the previous to the next sentence, you can change the control alt in case that it interferes with other keyboard shortcuts you have. So you can make it um, caps lock or insert or caps lock or insert. 
So that's pretty much it. This is a really great feat. Instead of using Zoom text or JAWS or something else to read or having to turn on narrator, you can just have magnifier read just a small portion of a text. For example, if I'm reading an email or an article, it's a lot easier to have it just read to me instead of reading it with my eyes or instead of opening up another application like JAWS or narrator and finding the right spot, I can just you know, do a little bit of keyboard shortcuts with, or with a mouse and have it read for me. So I really like that and I find that so useful. So hopefully Microsoft will continue improving this feature. It's really a great feature. And what's funny is I have it available on my laptop, but I don't have it available on my desktop yet. So if you don't have it yet, don't worry, it is going to come. And I will be doing more videos on Windows Ease of Access, so keep an eye out for those videos. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on technology, products, and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.